Hi YouTube, it's Kathy. It's Bi Visibility Day, which means that I am a visible person as a bisexual. Yes, I'm not the only person to make that joke because we like that joke. This is a day we've set aside as a community to celebrate being polysexual or attracted to more than one gender. And in true booktuber fashion, I decided I wanted to get clips from a bunch of different queer YouTubers telling me about their favorite book that has a bi protagonist. Just before I hit the record button, I ran around my apartment and grabbed a few books that fit that bill. Some of these might show up in the clips that people have sent in, but I want to highlight them anyway. When I'm between books for a readathon, I'm actually doing a reread of The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid, which is my favorite book of the year so far. Obviously, I love My Girl Frances from Radio Silence by Alice Oseman. Charlie from Queens of Geek is just freaking adorable, as is Emmy King from The Bright Siders. And my favorite snarky bisexual is Leah from Leah on the Offbeat. I went through that pretty quickly because I actually got quite a few participants and I want to just hand it over to them to introduce themselves and tell us about a good book. Hi everyone, my name's Adriana and my channel is Perpetual Pages. The incredible buy book I will be recommending today is Wild Beauty by Anna Marie McLemore. I mean, when Kathy asked me to recommend a buy book, I thought to myself, why not recommend a book with a huge cast of characters where pretty much every person is bi as heck. This is Own Voices Queer Latinx Magical Realism about the No Me Olvides family, which, fun fact, means do not forget me in Spanish. These women have tended the grounds of an estate known as La Pradera for generations. Each of them contains overwhelming magic that overflows from their bodies as the spontaneous creation of plants and flowers. So La Pradera is the safest place for them to exist, but they're also hiding a painful family secret. If they love someone too much, that person will vanish. But one day, without warning, the earth suddenly surrenders a mysterious boy to the Nomi Olvides women, and now they have to figure out how he is connected to their forbidden magic. This story is powerful and relevant because it explores the mistreatment and erasure of immigrants, the shame and fear surrounding those of us who live differently, and how Latinx communities are in some ways complicit with covering up our own history and our own trauma, whether we realize it or not. It's romantic, substantial, beautifully written, and especially now during Hispanic Heritage Month, I highly recommend it. Hey guys, it's Ellie from the channel Addicts Daydreaming, and the book with bi protagonists that I am going to be recommending you today is As I Descended by Robin Talley. As I Descended is a Macbeth retelling where Macbeth and Lady Macbeth are both queer ladies. Maria is bi, she is our protagonist, and Lady Macbeth Lily is a lesbian. Maria is also a Latinx woman and Lily is disabled. So there are also a couple of gay side characters. This book is just full of wonderful representation. So I highly recommend you read it. Hi, my name is Katrina Ames. I am an Asian bisexual YouTuber who talks about books and politics and life. I'm going to recommend The Upside of Unrequited by Becky Albertalli, uh, the same author who brought you Simon vs. the Homo Sapien Agenda and Leah and the Offbeat. The episode of Unrequited follows 17-year-old Molly Peskin Suso, who knows everything about unrequited love and has lived through it 26 times. Her twin sister Cassie gets a new girlfriend and her first real girlfriend, it adds complications. Molly herself isn't bisexual, but the backdrop of this whole story is the summer of 2015. The summer where the Supreme Court struck down laws that would outlaw same-sex marriage in the United States. Molly and Cassie, their little brother Xavier, have two moms, one of which is bisexual. And their moms have been together for, well, I mean their whole lives, but even longer than that. I think maybe more than 20 years. And that's a long time. And it's a long time with one woman in a same-sex relationship reiterating and over and over again claiming her identity as a bisexual woman because being bisexual isn't dependent on your relationship status. And this is a story that fills me with hope in being a bisexual woman who is married because it's nice to see a future laid out for me and for people and to have a character to look up to that's built a very nice stable life with the person that they love while still retaining their identity as a bisexual woman. The Upside of Unrequited is a beautiful and delightful love story about a 17 year old trying to find their way in the world. But in all of that, it's also about her parents and her family and the life that they built for themselves. And to see a bisexual woman do that with another woman is kind of beautiful to me. And it fills me with hope in a way that a lot of bisexual stories don't. Hi, I'm Kenzie Rain, and I'm going to be recommending Radio Silence by Alice Osman. It's about Frances Janvier, who is a clever girl who likes to draw fan art for her favorite podcast, and then uh, more stuff happens. So 
that's my recommendation. Did I just make a tripod out of toilet paper, towels, pillows, books, my laptop, and a lawn chair? Why, yes. Yes, I did. Hi, my name is Liz. I am a bisexual mother of two, married to a cishet man, so I'm in what you could consider a straight passing relationship. And I thank Kathy for letting me be a part of this little project. For a person who hasn't read much, um, it's interesting for me to be a part of anything booktube, but there is one particular character that I know is kind of spoilery bisexual that I really enjoy. The series is called Nightblade, and the author is Garrett Robinson, and I love all of the characters in this series, and the main character, Lauren, is, spoilery, a little bit uh, bisexual. One of my favorite characters that I have ever read in the few books that I've read. It's interesting how you find out that she's not exactly what we would consider straight. Definitely check it out if you are into fantasy series. Trigger warnings for violence, abuse, and rape, so just be aware of that if you do want to get into the series, but I definitely recommend it. And thanks again, Kathy, for letting me be a part of this. Bye. Hi everyone, my name is Madeline, and I run a booktube channel on a blog called Novel Inc. The book I'd like to recommend to you today is Noteworthy by Riley Redgate. I've read a lot of queer YA over the past five years or so, and this stands out as one of my absolute favorites. At the beginning of this book, our protagonist, Jordan Sun, decides to dress up as a boy and audition for the traditionally all-male acapella group at her boarding school for the arts. And the story takes off from there. Jordan does identify as bisexual and the bi rep in Noteworthy is some of the truest to my experience that I've read. We see Jordan struggling with her attractions and how to label herself. And at the end, things aren't wrapped up in a perfectly beautiful bisexual bow. She's still thinking about these things and figuring out new things about herself and her sexuality every day. In addition to the awesome bi rep and noteworthy, we also have Chinese American rep, poverty rep, cross-dressing, acapella, boarding school setting, basically ticks all of my boxes and I can't recommend it highly enough to all of you. Hello, I'm McKinley from the Instagram McKinley13 and the YouTube channel McKinley's Bookshelf that I don't really post on anymore. And I have several buy books here that are really popular on booktube that I'm going to just second booktube's opinion on. And that's Autobiography. Loved it. Little Lion. Loved it. This book is phenomenal. All the hype is real. Loved it. Lee on the Offbeat, I know, is very controversial, but I loved it. Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue, guess what? Loved it. And Running with Lions by Julian Winters, loved it. Some less popular ones that I will recommend. We Regret to Inform You by Ariel Kaplan. The main girl is not by, but one of the side characters who's pretty present in the book is, and this is an underrated book that you should definitely read especially if you like badass girl gangs and there's other queer representation and people of color in it and finally for my main recommendation how to make a wish by ashley herring blake ashley herring blake is one of my favorite authors she's by herself so this is own voices this has biracial rep it deals with a mother with alcoholism and it has a fantastic male-female friendship, and I just really, really love everything Asha Herring Blake has written. But this one, I feel, is the most underrated on booktube, so this is the one I'm going to recommend. Hi, my name's Rebecca. I'm one of the tea hags, and the book I want to recommend to you is Life is Wonderful, People Are Terrific by Melissa Banales. This is an own voices novel about a bisexual Chicana going to college, drinking a lot, and discovering the punk feminist movement in the 1990s. It is full of graphic sex, alcohol abuse, and just terrible, terrible decision making. I love this novel because it paints an honest picture about the pros and cons of the party scene and exploring your sexuality, and how that can sometimes cause you to harm others if you're not careful. Along with the sex and heavy drinking, there is talk of suicide and a suicide attempt, so just be prepared for that. Hey guys, my name is Rhiannon and I am from the channel Crescent Moon Reads and I'm so excited to be participating in this collab because Bi Visibility Day is very important to me as a bisexual woman myself. So I'm excited to be recommending to you guys Girl Made of Stars by Ashley Herring Blake. Our main character in this novel is named Mara and she is bisexual and she is dealing with a falling out with her best friend and ex-girlfriend Charlie, while also having to deal with the fact that one of her really good friends, Hannah, has just accused her twin brother, Owen, of rape. So I'm really, really 
proud to recommend this to you guys because I think it's an important topic, it's handled well, and unless it is a trigger for you and it's not safe to read it, I definitely recommend it both as a bisexual read and as a really good book that handles rape in a really enlightening way and a way that we should be handling it in my opinion. So I hope you guys will pick it up and happy Bi Visibility Day! Hi guys, I'm Shelley and I have to recommend Heartstopper by Alice Osman. It is a ongoing webcomic and soon to be graphic novel that I can't wait to get my hands on. About a friendship between two boys named Charlie and Nick. Charlie is openly gay at the beginning of this book, but Nick is completely confused. He has a friendship with Charlie that is growing and his feelings for him are growing and he's just like, okay, this, this is new. And throughout the book he discovers that he is bisexual. He spends one night just kind of on the internet searching his life. It is a truly beautiful story that is ongoing. It covers subjects such as bullying and consent, but at the same time it is wrapped up in the most beautiful ball of cuteness, oversized jumpers, he and a very fluffy dog. I cannot describe my love for Charlie and Nick, but especially for Nick as he discovers that through his love for this one person, for this connection that he has, that he is bisexual. And he starts to consider coming out and he starts telling his friends and he starts considering telling his parents. It's through his friendship and the support of Charlie that he has a safe place to come out and a safe place to discover who he is. Alice Osman has done brilliant, wonderful things with these characters and I love it. Hey guys, I'm Zoe and I'm going to be recommending two books, both of which have bi male main characters. The first one is Ace of Shades by Amanda Foody. This is a YA fantasy that is just full of morally ambiguous characters, which I have always been a huge fan of. And not only is the main character bi, he's also black, which is not something that you see too often in YA. At least not something I've seen too much and it was honestly quite refreshing. The second book is The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. This is a historical fiction that features a European tour. The main character is kind of a lovable asshole. What makes this book even better is the audiobook was absolutely fantastic and it was narrated by, I can't remember his name right now, but he played young Tom Riddle in The Chamber of Secrets. He was the perfect narrator for this. Thank you so much to everybody who participated. All of their links are down below. Have you read any of these books? And if so, which ones did you enjoy the most? Let me know about it down in the comments below. On the way down to the comments, if you hit that subscribe button, that would be very nice of you. You can like and share this as you see fit, and I will see you very soon. Bye!